What drives narcissists to revel in you after the discard? Enter the intriguing world of the narcissist, a being who clings to outdated thinking like a relic from the past, making even old-fashioned rotary phones seem modern. But hold on, as fate often likes to remind us, recognizing true value can be fashionably late, arriving like a party guest just as the music fades and the snacks disappear. Imagine this. A heart-wrenching tale of a painful breakup, a story woven with belittling words, where the threads of your importance are carefully unraveled, leaving you hanging in their indifference. Once shed moments, once vibrant like a spring garden, now faded memories. From the intense initial affection that made you feel like you were in a Shakespearean play, to the extravagant promises that sounded so sweet, leading you into a maze of anticipation, only to realize it was their plan all along. And then, the dismissive wave of their hand, a gesture as puzzling as Mona Lisa's smile. But hold tight, reader, because here comes the surprise. A twist so baffling it rivals the Rubik's Cube. The narcissist, who cast you away like a magician's trick, now starts reflecting. Yes, you read that right. The same person who treated you as insignificant is now caught up in re-evaluating themselves. This spectacle of revaluation re is no mere happenstance, it is a drama that unfolds with the inevitability of a Shakespearean tragedy, except the players aren't kings and queens, but rather the ego-driven and the emotionally attuned. As the narcissist surveys the landscape of their past valuations, your presence may emerge like a lighthouse in a foggy abyss, guiding their introspective ship towards the shores of contemplation. But oh, do not let your imagination wander too far, for not every connection from the annals of history gets the privilege of this re-examination. No, dear empath, it is your unique qualities that render you a starring role in this theatrical reinterpretation. Now, before you mistake my words for a sermon of self-righteousness, allow me to clarify. It's not the trumpet of arrogance that I'm sounding, but rather a quiet recognition of a truth often overshadowed by the cacophony of the world. In a reality teeming with individuals who wield their malice like a weapon and tread upon empathy like it's a mere inconsequential pebble, the simple act of caring, kindness, and non-harm becomes a beacon of rarity. It's a constellation in the vast cosmos of human behavior, a constellation that you, dear reader, have the privilege of adorning. So stand tall, not in the towering shadow of arrogance, but in the gentle glow of the extraordinary. Our inclination towards reciprocity sets us apart. Imagine if both individuals in a relationship were like us, understanding and reciprocating each other's feelings. Unfortunately, we sometimes get entangled with toxic personalities. This is when I claim that we are a step above others not to boast, but because a significant portion of the world seems to exhibit toxic traits, narcissism, psychopathy, and a disregard for others' well-being. Most of us are not part of this negativity. We don't engage in harmful actions or support them, making us exceptional. If you identify as an empath, consider honing your empathetic skills. This growth often occurs naturally after a discard and the subsequent awakening. As you heal, you'll find yourself naturally enhancing your empathetic abilities. During this journey, as you come to terms with the relationship's end and work on your healing, the narcissist might be observing from a distance. In their mind, they begin to re-evaluate you, comparing you to their new partner. Gradually, they realize your uniqueness and recall the initial stages of your relationship. This introspection might lead them to question how they ended up in this situation. It's a complex process, one that highlights their tendency to recognize value only when it's too late. You know, they don't really self-reflect as such, but they'll start to think. They'll realize they made a bad move on the chessboard because everything's a game to them. They acknowledge their mistake. However, finding a way back isn't always simple, especially when we're on our healing journey and have distanced ourselves. They begin to re-evaluate you from afar. Checking your social media becomes an obsession. Even if you've blocked them, they use various accounts to reach out. Be cautious. This behavior becomes an obsession. They monitor you like a friend checking on your life and imagining being together again. This fantasy is unattainable, especially if you firmly close the door. If the door is slightly open, they might delay re-evaluating you, thinking they can return whenever. This is why enforcing no contact is crucial. If you must communicate, keep it negative, withholding positive attention. 
Closure can sometimes come from saying a few words during the final days. Narcissists do revelue you. You become someone they desire but can't quite hold on to a presence they imagine. To keep them away, you must stay strong and resolute. By creating a firm boundary, you deny them access, which fuels their desire for you. In their eyes, you become an unparalleled figure, someone they can't replace. You transform into the one they regret losing, a constant thought for them. This might sound unbelievable, but stories of Hoover's attempts to reconnect, even years later, are shared in comments. It's because our energy is truly exceptional. As empaths, as special individuals, our energy shines brightly. They can't find anything like it elsewhere. So, they end up holding onto an idealized version of you in their minds. You become an obsession they track on social media. Consider my own experience with the narcissist in my life. Recently, they've tried to reach out through fake profiles, as I mentioned in my video. They crave any semblance of connection due to the impact you've had. They don't care if it's a fake profile or an anonymous call, hearing your voice is sufficient. Their compulsion drives them, providing a strange satisfaction. Remember, it's because you're a rarity in this world. This leads them to reassess their view of you. This is crucial. As you continue your journey of healing and self-improvement after the breakup, much like I and others have done, you'll overcome the pain and the bond that tied you. Focus on yourself. Engage in new experiences, even in different countries, like I did. These endeavors elevate your sense of self-worth. They'll continue monitoring your life on social media, dating sites, everywhere. When they witness your growth since the time you were with them, it's a blow to their ego, a profound injury to their narcissism. You're not just as good as you were with them, you're even better. While they remain the same, adapting themselves to suit whoever they're with, you're becoming more genuine. They lack their own identity, their social canelians. Remember, the reason for their renewed fixation or revaluation after discarding you is rooted in your true value. If you've noticed their recent silence, it's because they're preoccupied with their thoughts. But you have a more important task. Continue focusing on your self-worth. Educate yourself not only about narcissistic behavior, but also about other related subjects. By doing so, you're investing in your personal growth, I spent a considerable time studying and trying to understand narcissism. Unfortunately, some sources portrayed narcissists as untouchable beings, which didn't provide me the answers I needed. This motivated me to share my insights on YouTube. I wanted to help you comprehend the situation, especially since I dealt with a spiritual narcissist, someone who poses godly but was quite the opposite. Facing numerous attempts to hoover, reconnect, with me, even though I wasn't aware of the term then, I realized they regretted their actions. You might be experiencing similar situations, like late night calls. These could be attempts to contact you while they're with their new supply. My advice, block them, even change your number if possible. Cutting ties is the most effective way to deal with narcissistic injuries. I've created a video on how to silence and torment narcissists if you're interested. Remember, you hold value. Whether in the eyes of God or the universe, you're unique. Your energy sets you apart. This channel is dedicated to empathetic people, those skilled at connecting with others. We sometimes mirror the narcissist's behavior, unintentionally causing them to discard us. Our ability to connect deeply with others threatens them. Understanding the core of a narcissist reveals their low self-esteem behind the facade of superiority. This isn't to mock low self-esteem, which affects many. Narcissists act superior but post-discard, they grasp what they lost. The discard phase, though painful, is important. It gives the narcissist a chance to realize their mistake. Only after being discarded do they begin to admire and appreciate you again. This also happens if you end the relationship. At first they might feel free, but eventually, they see what they lost and start to value you again. Remember, you are special. Understand and appreciate who you are. Be thankful for the many blessings from God. Count these blessings, I promise, the good things you did during your time with the narcissist will show results in surprising ways. I've experienced this in my own life. I once thought the love I gave to the narcissist was squandered, but it returned to me in different forms, blessings I never anticipated. Not just romantically, but in various aspects of my life. Now, I'm cautious about who I allow into my life. 
I've learned from a regretful mistake, and I urge you not to succumb to loneliness. Loneliness affects us all, but as you embark on your healing journey, consider channeling your energy in productive ways. Redirect your sexual energy into areas like fitness, business, or hobbies. This energy is potent and can drive positive change. While you rebuild yourself, the narcissist will be astonished by your growth. You're becoming more valuable than they expected. Strive to be untouchable. We once settled for the narcissist, but now we must raise our standards. Settling in relationships, especially without healing, is detrimental. Remember, healing isn't linear. It's filled with ups and downs. We're abuse survivors and those memories persist. But it's not our fault. We weren't naive. Our genuine love threatens narcissists. They discarded us, thinking they knew us, but they're unprepared for our resilient comeback. After a breakup, if you stop contacting them, something changes. How they see you shifts. It takes a few weeks. We recover and come back even stronger, like a rubber band. We turn bad experiences into strengths that shape us. We move forward, leaving them behind, and we're tougher than before. It's natural to miss someone you've lost. When others are compared to you, you're unmatched. No matter how hard they look, they won't find someone like you again. You might hear. What if they find another empath? But remember, when we were together, they didn't truly value having an empath around. They were still tied to their past, playing games and causing drama that wasn't needed. But time has a way of revealing truth. It's often after the relationship ends that they understand our worth. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So, as you focus on self-improvement, spiritually, physically, and mentally, they'll begin to reevaluate. This process may shatter them, seeing you thriving and stronger after the breakup. Keep moving forward, maintaining faith in the plan. Understand that separations are often divine interventions. They liberate us from the torment of a narcissist. Don't worry, it's never too late. There are stories of people finding happiness and true connections even later in life. Think of this time not as wasted, but as a correction of mindset. We've gained clarity and a deeper understanding of complex situations, especially involving narcissists. Remember, they might want you back, but don't grant them second chances. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content.